friends. Today we are going to learn how to draw a toucan. And I thought this would be a very fun bird to draw because it reminds me of really, really um, wonderful weather. And as you can see, uh, he is resting on a branch of a tree and we have some tropical flowers and a beautiful background going on. So what I'm gonna teach you to draw it step by step. What you're gonna need is a black marker or Sharpie to draw with. If you don't have access to Sharpies or regular markers, then you can certainly just use a black color pencil or a black crayon. You can even use a pencil if you wanna draw it first and then be able to erase um, stuff that you don't like. But I suggest you starting with a black marker or Sharpie and then um, some basic colors that we're gonna need. If you have some yellow, orange, brown, and green, that would be great. The flowers are additional. You can add different color flowers if you don't have red. Okay, so let's start. So I'm gonna put this aside and we are going to start with our piece of paper and it's gonna be horizontal or landscape. Okay, um, so that we have enough space to draw our, our branch and our toucan. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to try to imagine four sections, okay? If it's hard for you to imagine four sections, I always tell my students they can draw guidelines very lightly. You don't have to measure them. I will just draw them very, very lightly so that you're able to erase them when you're done drawing. And this is, a uh, really great way to show kids how to draw um, step by step by using the four quadrants on the paper, on the piece of paper. Okay, there we go. You can barely see them. Don't press so hard so you'll be able to erase them um, when we're all done. So the first thing we're gonna draw is a branch. And we're gonna start um, about right here on this line, so the middle of the page, and we're gonna go from one side to the other, just like that. And then we're gonna start right here, about maybe an inch or so. And then we're gonna go another line to the other side. And both lines, they become closer to each other, okay? Um, so that's gonna be our main branch. I'll give you some time. And then we're gonna start with the head of the toucan, okay? Um, so we wanna start right here, the middle line goes right there. Um, vertically, so we're gonna start about right here and we are going to draw a shape, just it's a round shape, just like that. That's gonna be part of his body, okay? Then we're gonna come over here on the um, left side of the paper and we are going to start drawing right here, right below the starting point of your bird. And we're gonna, kind of like an inverted S. Okay, or a back, uh, backwards S, okay? Very nice. Now we're gonna join these two points. We're gonna do it like that, okay? And then, when we have joined that, we're gonna start working on his beak. And his beak is very big, okay? So, it's kind of like a straight line, and then it curves down here and then another straight line, and it curves until the very end, okay? And then you can like uh, fill in the space right there. Very good. Okay, now the beak has several parts. Now he has a smile on his face. So we're gonna draw right there. It's where his beak closes. Then it has one section right there on the tip, and then it has two other sections. Now notice, notice how these lines on his beak, they go from wider to closer. Okay, they're parallel, but they close up a little bit. Okay, just like your branch. Now we're gonna do his eye and his, he has a very big eye. So we're gonna draw a circle. Make sure your first circle is not that small so you can um, Draw the other one around it, just like that, okay? Now, we're gonna draw this kind of like an eye patch that he has, kind of like a, kind of like how the pandas have it, okay? He has like something like that, okay? Now we're gonna draw his little 
claws. Okay, and so to do that, we're gonna do one, two half circles. One, two. That's gonna be the top part where he where he's um, grabbed onto that branch. And then we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now his um, little paws are gonna be black, okay? So if you want to go ahead and just color that in right now so that you have that covered already. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna draw his tail, okay? Now his tail has to come down right at the middle where his body is at the top of the branch. And we are going to start a line right here, like right below the left claw that curves out like that. And then another one here that curves. Okay, excellent. Now we're gonna join and voila. There we have it, that's his tail, okay? Now our tree has more branches, okay? The tree, as you can see right here, um, it has more branches, so let's draw. Uh, maybe one that comes out from here and it can go, and you can make um, the branches whichever direction you wish. They go right there, one, make one right here. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna give you some time to catch up. There we go. And now we're gonna draw some leaves and the leaves are very easy, okay? And then we have a line that goes through the middle go there's one leaf we're going to do a bigger one down here okay then maybe we're going to draw one right here on this direction okay maybe a baby one there we go um, now we're gonna draw some bigger ones on this side where the stem is much bigger, the branch. Okay, and then one here. Maybe another one up here. And there we go. Okay, now the, we're gonna start the fun part, which is coloring. Now, on, on the one I did before, I'm gonna show you right here, I used markers to color most of it, okay? But I, d I decided to color the sky with a blue color pencil, and you can do that. That is called an art, it's called mixed media, and it just means that you use different mediums to color or paint or do your artwork. So, and I like doing that with these type of drawings. Um, so the sky I did with blue color pencil, you can, it, this is light blue, sky blue actually. Um, you can use uh, crayons or you can use markers if you want. Um, and right here at the bottom, I did some grass and some flowers. Those are optional. So if you want to, let's see, draw some grass at the bottom, we're gonna do that right here. Right there, okay? And then um, maybe a flower over here. Okay, very good. Now, we're, let's start coloring. Um, I'm gonna color it really fast. I'm not gonna color it all right now. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to color the main bird, okay? So uh, you wanna start with the black areas. And the first thing that what we already colored his little claws, his little feet. Um, the first thing is I'm gonna draw a smaller circle here, 
inside the eye and then I'm gonna color in the eye because the eye is black. Another thing that is black is the tip of his beak. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. There we go. And then we have his main body that's black. Now, we don't wanna, we don't wanna lose the claws, okay? So we're gonna draw a line around it, kind of like a rainbow. Okay, that way we know we're not gonna color right there. Okay, so we're gonna color in black. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna see how we're able to spot his his um, claws on the branch. We're gonna color in his tail. I'm doing it fast, like I always say, um, for time's sake for the video, but you get to take your time depending on what you decide to use, if you decide to use markers or Sharpies or what have you. Okay, then we're gonna use the light green to color around his eyeball. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Now we are going to do his beak. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get the lid on this. Okay, so his beak has different colors, but if you don't have all these colors, don't stress about it. This is kind of like a skin color that I have that um, really looks good on, on the beak. It really looks like the, the color, the real color. Okay, so this one's orange, the one next to it. And if you use permanent markers, you don't have to worry about the black um, just running into the different colors. If you use water markers, I would suggest that you draw with pencil first and then you color in all the bright color areas. And when you're done coloring with the different color um, markers, at the very end, you can go over the pencil lines or what we call outline um, with the black marker. That way you don't have to worry about smudging or anything, okay? So I did this one black in case you don't have red. The original one I have is red. Um, now the bottom is orange too. So let me see, grab my orange right here. Orangey, no, I'm going blind. Very nice, so there you have it. Um, now, when we are doing the leaves, um, you can have fun with this. You can have some leaves that are light green, other ones that are darker green. You can have different shape of leaves. Um, you can color the tree branch with color pencils instead, and then color the sky with markers. You can play around with that. I'm gonna, uh, leave the rest to you at home. Take your time. This uh, project requires you to be really focused and have a lot of patience, but it's really fun. Now, this is the one, the finished one that I already have. Um, you can just, after you're done drawing, you can pause the video right here just to follow um, the colors that you need to use if you wish. Okay, good luck and have fun with this.